Up next to the podium, we have waiter John Longton. This is his eighth year in a row serving on Valentine's Day. Overall, his sales were high, but tip percentages were unusually low. John will give an opening statement before taking questions from the media. Let me just say, Valentine's Day is the worst day to be a server. John, yeah. what in particular about Valentine's Day makes it so difficult? Let's just say it's supposed to be a night of romance but it turns into a war on the service industry, okay? We're trying hard. The bussers, the managers, the bartenders, the hostesses, we all wanna get you laid, but you're coming at us like we're not on the same team. We're on the same team. John, John, what separates a Valentine's Day customer from a regular customer at your restaurant? Let's just say they go out to eat one time a year and it's on Valentine's Day. Should we say that? Is, uh, is the etiquette any different? I mean, what happens at the table? Let's just say the, the snapping and the hey you goes up about tenfold that night. But John, the, the report from your manager says that it was you who was building up some anger and you even lashed out at a customer for not leaving you a tip. Do you stand by those actions? Not only do I stand by those actions, I will do that again and again and again. I'm not just defending myself, I'm defending my brethren, the whole waiters across the nation. This is a terrible day to work. Uh, John? John? One couple did give you a very enticing offer to have a threesome with them after the night was over. How did you respond to that? Um, I still haven't responded to that, but uh, we'll take care of business after work. John, John, uh, the manager also said that you were hitting on table 16's date. Let, let me just preface that. What, her date was on his phone the whole time. He didn't respect her. I sure as hell did. John, does the percentage of oyster orders go up on Valentine's Day? I'd say so, about tenfold. John. It was reported Table 14 sent both of their dishes back to the kitchen and they were complaining about quality. What do you have to say to that? Yeah, that table thought that they were at 677 Prime and they were really at a chain restaurant. So that's what happened. What do you have to say about the gentleman taking their ladies to a chain restaurant on Valentine's Day? I honestly didn't see a single gentleman tonight, so I, I can't answer that question. Where did they go? 677 Prime. Hey, John. John, right here. What about the couple who thought they were filming for an episode of Extreme Couponing when they tried to pay the bill? Yeah, that happens left and right, and uh, it reflects in my tip. John, uh, John, there's reports of uh, a table, there was a woman crying by herself. Yeah. Um, did you help her? Oh, I helped her. I usually clean up with those tables. Uh, yeah, John. Um, a couple tables were complaining that it was a very hard to find a gluten-free, non-dairy, vegan dessert on your menu. Yep. Where are they supposed to go to celebrate? Um, actually, Whole Foods is two doors down, so they can probably go there to start with. John, John, Valentine's Day menu. What was with the adjustments? No chili cheese fries? Well, we don't want you to while you're your wife.